What's happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on the class of 1970. Take a close, close look. The beauties and the details on this one. This is an absolutely stunning, fully frame up, restored 1970 Bonneville that's been on display here at the New England Motorcycle Museum for about five years. Uh, I, I consider myself a little jaded because I'm surrounded by museum quality bikes, but every time I walk through the museum, the words of Billy Blythe, I feel like I should, should salute this bike. It is that nice. And we've got an extensive collection of fine British machines here. This is our flagship. This is the nicest bike in the museum. Dave Mercier, one of the museum benefactors, has had it on display for years and uh, needs the money for uh, some real estate transactions he's getting into, and it's, it's coming up for sale. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful piece, fully and correctly frame off restored. Uh, it, like I said, it had been in the museum. We have, we have, it's been restored about, I think it's right before it got here, about six years ago, it was frame off restored. And we've got museum quality glass with zero UV penetration in the museum and it's climate controlled. It's, it's at a steady temperature year round, 365 days a year. This is on the third floor, high and dry. So there's been no degradation to the restoration at all. It's exactly the way it, it came out of the shop. Um, it had sat for five years, so we did, um, Rinse the tank, put fresh fuel in it, um, clean and adjust the carburetors, uh, change the oil, just made sure everything was fresh on it and fired it up. We did order a new set of fuel petcocks and fuel lines for it because these fuel lines were the ones that were put on it six years ago. Um, and we also ordered the uh, correct black uh, spark plug caps and wires. So that's about the only thing we could pick out on here that wasn't proper and correct. It has a period correct set of dual horns that's been ins installed on it. I'm done with those in a second. They sound fantastic. The paint job is a 10. The fit and finish is a 10. And if you look closely, the, like I said, the devil's in the details. Look at the rim. Look at the new spokes. Look at the, 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 the brake system, the, the fork lowers, the paint job. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. Has a correct Made in England logos. It's an original matching numbers, engine cases and frame, 1970. Uh, correct badges, beautifully done, uh, hand pinstriped, just like from the factory. The gauges are beautiful, these are original gauges, showing 19,147 miles. The gas cap's got the correct new cork, and the gas inside of the tank's as nice as the outside. The correct Bonneville logo, just a beautiful piece. The seat's beautiful. The engine's been completely restored. Uh, cases split, uh, new piston, new rings. Uh, new base and head gaskets, everything in the primary is new, new clutch, a uh, new primary chain, new final drive chain. Uh, the fit and finish on, on the paint job on, on the frame is is as good as it was, at, or maybe better than the day it came out of the factory. Same could be so, said for the kickstand and the uh, um, the uh, kickstand in the center stand. The exhaust is, is, is new, the exhaust collars are new, the air filters are new, the carbs are, are uh, new, Amos. Um, well, new when they put them on there, when they restored it, uh, the, the, the caps for the valve covers, just a beautiful piece. Junior, would you like to add anything about this stunning Bonville that we're putting up for sale for Dave? Yeah, we've had, we've averaged 200 bikes on display in the permanent uh, museum display <clears throat> over the last few years. And there's a handful of bikes that, that uh, people will usually bring up after their tour when they come back through the office to exit. And uh, this is one of them. Uh, it's super, super, you know, this 1970 Bonville oil and frame is totally iconic and not only is it one of the most recognizable bikes in the museum but the fit and finish and the restoration this is the one that people comment on most uh, over the years there are some others that, that might, might have uh, come close but like my dad said this is really uh, one of the prides here and it's a shame that we can't keep it on display check this out yeah. show them that world record holder speed record Show them the fit and finish on the headlight, um, the chrome, the original Lucas glass, uh, the, the chrome uh, on the bars. Everything is as it was, the, just as nice as the day it came out of the, out of the factory in England. Just a stunning machine. And it, and it handles and it has the correct Dunlop K70 rear tire, the correct rib style front tire. Everything's just stunning on it. And the, uh, it doesn't get any better than this, man. But uh, let me give you a quick riding demonstration so you can hear this thing run. It's, it's spectacular.
As time goes by, I, this is this bike's 53 years old. As time goes by, less and less of these stunning classics exist here in the United States and abroad. And the cost to restore them, the cost of labor has gone through the roof. Uh, typical restoration shop charge minimum 120 an hour in the Northeast here for this the type of work you see on this bike. And to do a frame off, you're looking at a minimum of 100 hours labor. So to, to, to create this bike from a, a decent used motorcycle, you're gonna drop well north of 10 grand in, uh, in labor alone. So um, the value of these, if you look on the meet, go on to meekum.com, look under completed auction listings, you'll see one sold for $24,000. A couple years ago, a bunch have sold in the last year for the fourteen to fifteen thousand dollar range. None of them finer than this one, so we'll have a reasonable reserve. But this one's gonna is is uh, gonna be worth every penny, and it's basically irreplaceable. We offer financing through Freedom Road Financial. You can call to do a pre-application over the phone. It's a soft credit pull. See what the lender will offer you. Uh, we can ship anywhere in the states inexpensively. Message your zip code for a shipping quote here on eBay. Um, licensed, insured, and closed transporters. Experienced motorcycle specialist. Any questions, get us on eBay. Or call the shop line 860-454-7024 and ask us to speak with me. I'm Ken Kaplan Jr. Be happy to help you out. It's an iconic classic that is absolutely an investment quality motorcycle. One of the finest we have here at the museum. I wish Dave was gonna leave it here, but uh, it's really not up to us. We have a lot of benefactors that bring bikes to the museum, and when they decide it's time to move on, uh, so be it. Um, this is up for grabs, and uh, someone's getting an absolute museum piece. Yeah, this is the bike that will bring a major premium when brought to auction in a few years. If you're looking for something that's investment quality, that's a store of value. You look at consumer price index over the last few years, double digit inflation uh, year over year, the cost of parts, the cost of labor, um, the, the cost of ship parts. And then the guys that can work on these getting scarcer and scarcer, they're a dying breed. The joy of looking at it every morning over your cup of coffee, priceless. Really, the, the, the joy that, that, that I've gotten from just having this bike in our presence for five years is probably surpasses the actual street value. I mean, I don't drink or do drugs. This is my drug. I, I just, it's a natural high riding a bike like this. And um, I can't think of a better way to invest my, my time and money than preserving an iconic classic like this. So we've kept it exactly the way it was the day it was dropped off for Dave. We, we, we've cleaned it yearly and we've maintained it. And we just changed the oil and we're putting new fuel lines and new fuel petcocks on it because it needs them. These are six years old and changing the spark plug caps to the original ones and uh, gave it a once over, uh, tuned the carbs. So it'll be even better that when it, it'll be even better when it rolls out of here. That's how we treat our clients. Uh, that's how we treat their bikes the way we, we'd want to be treated. So give us a call if you have any questions, 860-454-7024. It's a piece of, uh, piece of classic iron here. Was on the second floor right there. It was on in there for five years on the second year in the New England Second floor of the New England Motorcycle Museum. Hate to see it go, but uh, if you buy it and you want to leave it here, obviously we'd be honored to maintain it for you for free for the next five years while your investment grows.